in the previous lecture, you had a taste of what you can do with a digital to analog converter in the Arduino Zero. In this lecture, I'll demonstrate how to create arbitrary waveforms using tables with pre-calculated waveform values. Although you can implement formulas based on which the Arduino Zero can calculate the points on a waveform in real time, for standard waveforms, it is often easier to pre-calculate these values and read them from a data table. In this lecture, I'll show you how to pre-calculate waveform values and use them to generate waveforms on your Zero. Let's take a closer look. Hi. In this lecture, I wanted to give you another example of things that you can do with a true digital to analog converter like the one that you'll find in the Arduino Zero. I will uh, set up my Arduino Zero so that it generates waveforms and have a look at those waveforms in the oscilloscope. So I'll be able to generate, for example, a true sine wave waveform or let's see, what else do I have here? Um, triangular wave and a decaying wave. And I'll also show you how you can generate your own waves. Of course, uh, there are mathematical ways to calculate the individual points along a waveform and then you can get the Arduino to, to create a voltage for each one of those calculated points. But another easier way to go about this is to use a calculator that will give you those points and then you can copy and paste them into a library file or into a header file as I'm doing in my example. So in this example, I'll use this little sketch here, uh, which will create a waveform on the uh, oscilloscope by outputting true voltage on analog pin zero by reading waveform values from a waveforms table. I've got a waveforms table in this header file, in the second file that is part of this sketch. And you can see here that I've, I've got a table that contains three rows. The first one is a sine wave, second one is a triangular wave, and then the third one is a decaying wave, and I've got a square wave here as well. For the sine wave, for example, I've calculated those values. I've got uh, 120 values per period for this sine wave. And of course, I didn't calculate those manually. I used an online calculator to do that. The way that this works is this. Uh, here's an example calculator, very useful. I can tell it that I'd like to have 120 points in a period. Now, the maximum amplitude depends on your digital to analog converter. In my case, the digital to analog converter is configured to 10 bits of resolution. So at 10 bits of resolution, the maximum amplitude is 1024. And you can choose whatever you like here for numbers per row, eight sounds okay. I'll select hexadecimal for the output values, submit it. And this is a sine wave with 120 individual points along the wave. So I can copy that and I can paste it into my waveform at this location here and there's my sine wave and I can do the same thing for triangular there's a calculator here to do um, triangular waveforms and also a decaying and as far as the last one the square wave is concerned that was pretty easy I just did this manually all I want is um, half the period to be oops half the period to be at high and the other half to be at low so back to the main part of the sketch I choose which waveform I'd like to create in analog pin zero you can say one or two or three etc let's go for one uh, sorry zero which is a sine wave and then it will pick a value from the first row of the waveforms table and uh, convert it into voltage. Then increase by one, 
if it reaches the maximum samples number then reset the counter back to zero and give that voltage to microseconds uh, before we override it with a new voltage. But let's upload that to the Arduino. All right, and uh, I've got to automatic on the oscilloscope just to get it to, to sync with the signal. And there you go. I'll just reduce the scale a bit. There it is. So there's my sine wave generated. And there's 120 points from the beginning of the period to the end of the period. I can switch to which one, let's see which one would be next, a triangular wave. So I can switch to a triangular wave by just going and putting a one in the uh, first parameter of the table. And that's the triangular wave. Again, 120 points uh, inside each period. Do it again. So now I'm looking at the decaying wave waveform. Okay, decaying wave. And for the last one, let's have a look at the square wave. There you go. So this way you can create arbitrary waveforms uh, by either having a table that contains the individual points of the waveform or you can just use math to calculate the waveform on the fly and produce them in the analog pin zero of your Arduino Zero.